Hi, I'm Ty Moser and this is the Mono Loco Workshop. Today I'm going to cut, stabilize, and dry end grain slabs or cookies. If you want to see how I did it, stick around. Now today I'm cutting up a bunch of carob wood. Now I guess that's the tree that produces the fake chocolate beans that's okay for dogs, something like that. But I, it's pretty wood. I mean the bark on it, just the shape of the tree, just awesome stuff. So normally when you're using a chainsaw mill, you need to have something for a flat reference for your first cut. So we just took some two by fours and we just used some lag screws and bolted them right to it. I cut 15 of these end grain slabs or cookies for the sawmill and I brought two home for myself. So I set about figuring out what I needed to do to dry these properly and prevent them from cracking. If you're not ready to stabilize them right away, you can put them in a bag, like just in a big giant garbage bag for a couple days. If you're gonna put it in there for more than a couple days, you're gonna wanna spray some Lysol or something in there, some kind of disinfectant, just so it's not gonna get moldy. To help stabilize the wood and prevent cracking, I'm using something called pentacryl. There are multiple ways to apply it, but the, I mean, the general idea is to completely soak the wood in the pentacryl and let it dry, and dry slow. And that's the best thing you want to dry it as slow as you can to help prevent the cracking. Uh, and there's been people that have put like metal bands around these things to really try to clamp them down and prevent cracking, but from my research, this is about the only way that you can really prevent the cracking on these cookies or the end grain slabs. So what I did is I created kind of a little trough to set it in. Since my piece is too large to completely dip it in and soak it, which would be the better option, I am painting it and I'm gonna let it soak in. And then I will keep applying paint to the same side for a while and then I will flip it over and I will paint the other side. And you wanna continue this until it doesn't accept any more of the pentacryl. And then what you're gonna wanna do is cover the end grain. Now on my first one, I got some cardboard and I kinda cut it to uh, match the end grain and I just taped it on there. The second one, I didn't have any more cardboard, but I did have brown paper. I don't know if that'll be as good or better. I'm thinking it might be better because I basically just wrapped myself a present of cookies and I mean, the thing looks awesome. So now really all I gotta do is wait. Even to my wife's dismay, I put them in our guest bedroom and I'm gonna leave them there for three months and I'll check the moisture on them, see what they're at. Now, hopefully in three months or six months, whatever that is, I'll bring out another video showing how I turn these awesome looking slabs into some beautiful tables. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, why don't you go ahead and share it to your friends, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. I got a whole bunch of other videos that should hopefully be coming out in the near future, and eventually, hopefully this year, I will have another video with these same slabs, turning them into beautiful side tables. Uh, if you wanna find any additional information, you can check out my website, link is in the description, and you can check out some of my other projects. I got a lot of different stuff going on. Uh, also, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, or Twitter, or Facebook, I try to post almost a daily picture of just what I'm doing. So I do a lot of stuff that I don't film just because I'm a busy guy with work and with all this stuff going on here. And I try to film stuff, but it doesn't always work out. So follow me on all my social medias and you'll see all the kind of neat stuff I'm doing. So thanks for watching.